our Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Hi, the purpose of this video is to ask the question of are you fishing too much? And I don't mean to single out fishing, there's nothing evil inherently about fishing, uh, but I want to apply the same principles of moderation in asking questions about fishing that one would apply to, you know, are you drinking too much, are you gambling too much, are you spending too much time playing video games, and so on. These are just common sense principles of wisdom and moderation. So the first sign that you might be fishing too much uh, is if you ask the question, is the excess compulsive? Uh, if you can't stop even though you want to stop or reduce how much time you're fishing or if you know you should reduce how much time you're fishing and you're compelled and you can't reduce it, uh, that's a sign that you might be fishing too much. The second sign is that the excess is taking significant time or resources away from other commitments or obligations such as work, a family, church, and so on. You know, most people would see the problem if a man's leaving his wife to take care of his children uh, to watch the kids several times a week and going drinking or going gambling. Uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes we don't see the problem if the man's going fishing uh, and while he leaves the children with his wife. Uh, most would see the problem if a man's spending on drinking or gambling uh, was much larger than he was willing to spend on educational or recreational opportunities for his children. But somehow excessive fishing gets a pass because in a lot of circles it's more socially acceptable. Uh, you might also consider if you're unemployed you probably have a little more time to go fishing. But if your family needs to be work if your family needs you to be working, are you spending more time fishing uh, than you're spending looking for a job? Uh, that would be a hint that your fishing is out of balance. Okay, the third sign uh, that your fishing might be excessive is that the excess is illegal or leads to illegal behaviors. You know, if drinking or gambling uh, leads to impaired, dri uh, impaired driving or stealing to support the habit, most people are going to recognize the problem. You know, similarly, if fishing leads to keeping fish over the legal limit, if it leads to trespassing, fishing without a license, littering or other illegal behaviors, uh, then it's excessive. Likewise, fishing is excessive if it leads to a failure to pay court-ordered child support on time, right? Those court orders about uh, child support, you know, say, you know, this month, this much a month, it's due by this date and so on and so on. So this can happen two ways with excessive fishing. Either you're spending so much on fishing uh, that you don't have enough money when it comes time to make the child support payment or um, if you're spending so much time fishing that you're not working enough to make those child support payments so if you're behind on your child support every dollar you spend fishing is a dollar too much if you're behind on your child support every hour you spend fishing is an hour you could be working to catch up okay the fourth uh, sign that you uh, are spending too much time fishing or excess fishing is that family members or your spouse are asking you to moderate your behavior and you're simply unable to. You know, I believe a man is the king of his home and has the final say on how he spends his time and his money. Uh, but this should be a servant kingship where he considers the needs of his family and the needs of other family members as more important than his own needs. Often other people can more readily recognize if a man's behaviors are out of balance. Okay, the fifth sign that you might be uh, fishing too much is that the excessive behavior is masked and hidden by deceit and dishonesty. Are you lying to your wife, to your boss, or to other parties about where you were going when you're really going fishing? Are you lying to your wife or others about how much you are spending on your boat, your fishing gear, or other fishing expenses? If it leads to dishonesty, odds are you're fishing too much. 
The sixth sign of excessive fishing behavior is that the excessive behavior makes one into a taker who's dependent on the enabling actions of others rather than a generous giver. You know, do you do others view your approach to fishing as selfish or do others view your approach to fishing as giving and generous? You know, I fish a lot, but in making my plan for the year, I sat down with my wife and we discussed how much time and money and travel I would be spending on fishing and what my goals were. We made a plan that focused on blessing other people, and I got input from other fem I got input from other friends and family advisors to ensure my overall life was in balance. I agreed to reduce spending in some other favorite recreational areas and make sure some specific needs of our children and others were a higher priority. Okay, the seventh sign uh, that fishing, you're fishing too much, is that the excess leads to predictable health risks. You know, in a similar way, you know, eating too much, smoking too much, drinking too much can have some health risks. If you're putting your health or your life in danger, uh, fishing too much or going, you know, going out in dangerous conditions or, you know, just doing dangerous things, wading into hazardous water when you're just not as young as you used to be, uh, then that might be a sign that your fishing is excessive. The eighth sign is that the excess fishing is harming third parties or putting them at risk. You know, do you treat others as you would want to be treating, as you would want to be treated at the boat ramp, on the water, so on? All right, the ninth sign that you might be fishing too much is that the excess leads to sin in predictable ways. I mean, everybody recognizes it is as excessive if somebody's stealing to support a drug habit or a gambling habit, you know, but is your fishing leading to jealousy? Is it leading to fighting? Uh, is it leading to exec excessive drinking or comparison with others? You know, some guys can't go fishing without drinking a lot of beer or creating an unhealthy competition with other anglers. Some guys live in perpetual jealousy of other men's boats, other men's fishing gear, other men's skill, other men's time to, sh to fish. You know, fishing is becoming a compulsion that never says enough. You know, one more cast, one more rod, a bigger boat, better sonar, and so on, then it's probably excessive. Uh, the tenth sign that you, you're fishing too much is that you're offended by the very question. You know, the joke is about, uh, about drinking is that uh, denial is the first sign that you have a drinking problem. And, you know, if a man is offended by an honest conversation and careful consideration about whether or not he's gambling too much or drinking too much, there's probably a gambling or drinking problem. And I'm just saying the same is true about fishing. You know, you, you need to be willing to have honest conversations. Okay, so one of the things, one of the biblical principles that's important here, if you realize that you are fishing too much or you've got this compulsive thing going on that's beyond what is healthy, is we want to realize that everyone who sins is a slave to sin, but if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Hey, we all get caught in different sins and different traps, uh, but the man of faith wants to look to the Lord Jesus and cry out to the Lord Jesus for help and for deliverance. Praise the Lord. When I stand in glory, I will see his face and there I'll serve my king forever in that holy place thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit till the work on earth is done